Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel, it's that time again. It is time for a Timu unboxing, yes, and uh, I can't wait to get in here. We have got some very interesting ones. One of the ones that are inside this package literally came up as a recommendation. I liked it, I bought it, and um, yeah, unfortunately I've reverted back to animals. Um, I tried so hard not to, but it's so, it's so difficult. <laughs> Right, let's get into here and um, I'll show you what it is. I know one's a cow, but I can't remember what the other one is, but we'll soon find out. So the first one is, ah yes, the wintry one, right. So we've got two in this package and this one is a 30 times 40. Uh, let's take a look at the bit I want. Be obviously careful when you're doing that. You need to be careful that you're not scraping off the protective cover that's on here. But this is absolutely fabulous. This painting, see, like I've just done there. <laughs> that's why I say be careful. Um, I've made a right cock up with this, ain't I? Oh my god. That's fine. We can salvage it. Oh my god. This is terrible. Look, it's peeling that off. Oh my god. What the hell? Okay, something's gone wrong here. Let me just try and release this. We need to quickly repair this if we can. This is awful. That can't be me, seriously. Look, it's stuck to it. What the hell? Oh my god. Right. See, that's why I say that, you know, be careful with it. But we'll see what we can do. In here, we have this look at that narnia or what but what i need to do just quickly is try and repair this quick so let me just flatten this up a bit but luckily it's not took any of the paintwork off but this is horrible stuff poor glue um not the actual pour glue itself, but the cellophane that goes on, but that's obviously got caught as we run doing it. But anyway, this is a very interesting number, C008 or Charlie Oscar Oscar 8. <laughs> if you do the, um, what's that code? Um, whatever code it is, but you know what the police use, it's um, not Morse code, something code, but they go Charlie Alpha Delta, that sort of thing. But this is 30 times 40. You got yourself 23 colours in here, and this is just beautiful. What I love about this is that lovely reflection of that sun. I do apologise, I've been um, doing some colouring in uh, with one of my sketch things that I do, because I do like to draw pictures and colour them. And uh, yeah, it looks like I've coloured myself in. But anyway, we have got uh, the reflection of the sun as it's going through that lovely river. And then you've got this sort of vibe that is sort of like a, a nice cold wintry day. And you've got the sun just coming up from the horizon there. Um, but what's lovely is the dark trees. You've got the trees all coming around the back, the little snow part here. The snow's reflecting in the water. And if you, I get the vision that there's going to be a lagoon or a barge that comes around here, just sailing its way out. You've got that lovely crack of dawn coming up throughout the sky. It's a really, really lovely painting. 30 times 40 there, as you can see. I really liked it and I had to get that. Absolutely gorgeous. I had another one that was like a blue lake with a boat on it. Um, I have got a similar one to this. So uh, I'll have to get that out of the file and show you guys. But that's absolute gorgeous, isn't it? Really, really lovely. As I said, I'm trying to move away from animals, so I'm trying to target more with like um, forest sort of things, cars. I've got a few cars coming soon, so um, yeah. I've had a Timu. Um, I've had a Timu delivery like every day so far. <laughs> so because uh, when you shop with them, the add-on feature. You have to do it pretty quick because if it's too, fa if it's then going into preparing for shipment, it will say preparing for shipment. You can't do it, and then you have to go through another order again. So um, yeah, if you want to add anything on, you need to really do it pretty fast because they will start to ship quite quickly. But in here, the standard boat again, really, really lovely. And then in here, we've got all the different colours. So. I'm thinking probably wintry, like on a nice cold winter's day or rainy day we can start that. Now in here, we've got felt of colours here, we have got white, probably 3865 there. And then we've got a 
plum or a peach. I love that word, plum. Plum. Plunge. <laughs> I got it from Miranda Hart because she used to laugh over the word plunge. In Miranda, she'll go plunge. <laughs> but anyway, we've got like a... That's more peach. I wouldn't say that's pink. And then we've got like a, a, a bluey grey. I'm really liking that colour. I'm thinking about decorating my bedroom in that colour. Because I have like more like a baby blue colour. I've always had that. But the actual paint that I use is called African Daisy. So um, I'm getting quite fond of this blue, uh, where is it, bluey grey colour. I quite like that. Um, and there we go. Some greys there that don't crop up very often. We've got a, uh, a jewel separated in that line there. They get punched all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, lots of lovely little pinks there. We're getting more and more pink cropping up, which is lovely. So that's the first one. Really, really happy with that. And um, we'll get into the next one now. Now, this is a really, really lovely painting. Um, as I said, it's a fairly new size um, and a fairly new painting. And I really, really liked it. So let's get into this. It's quite cute. So we'll put that to one side for a minute. Oh, this is a nice bag. It's like a cellophane. Um, no, like a, probably a poly pocket or something. Yeah, this is a 25 times 25 painting. And get, as you know, you may have noticed I'm dropping down in size. I just find these paintings just cute, easy to do. The 30s to 40s do take a long time to do. But, let's get into the painting. Look how gorgeous this is. So cute. I love this little cow. So what's lovely about this is I've got a 20 times 20. And if we just take a moment to look at one of them. We have, let me get a 20 times 20. So, for example, my panda, you can see that that's sort of like half the size of it. So, it's just going up a little bit more, but that's a 25 times 25 painting. Absolutely gorgeous. What I love about this is you've got that encasement of this ball, and it looks like the, um, you know, them things in like shops where you put the pound in and you turn the knob and it's, it brings out like a little toy in a in an egg or like a kinder egg if you like um as we know with kinder eggs you get that little toy inside and that's what the vision reminds me of you've got 18 colors here really beautiful beautiful colors here and a lovely dark sea blue in there really really liking that color there um obviously we've got various different color blocking around the sides here it seems to work in sections as you can see you've got this one then it moves into the pink and then the h and then the blue it's got that lovely section part until we get into here but they've got loads of these different ones um you know they've got i think they've got an eagle some other bits and bobs but really really lovely and i can't wait to get into this this is absolutely gorgeous 13 cut 18 colors what i love about this is that i like it when they print the coding on both sides of the canvas because you don't have to keep looking up there you can look down here they don't always do that but that's just absolutely gorgeous i just fell in love with it straight away and it, you know when you're browsing this one was one where i found it browsing and normally when i'm browsing i add it into the car and this one i just could not i had to order it there and then um quite often i add it to the car if i'm not too sure if i want it or not or if I'm debating whether I want it or not. Then we've got a pen and a tray there, really, really lovely. And then we have, oh, look at these, these look lovely. But let me know in the comments, do you guys chuck these things away or do you put them back in the bag? I don't do that. With my paintings, they go in my portfolio and then I stick the jewels in there, but it can make it really, really heavy. Um, the pet has told me that, but I don't, I like getting rid of rubbish, so uh, <laughs> all that packaging can go to the recycle factory as far as I'm concerned. Um, that's an interesting colour, I don't think I've worked with that before. I'm not entirely sure what that would be, a marble white maybe? Greys, blues, teal there, and uh, teal, teal is not T-I-L-L, -L, it's T-E-A-L. Um, that pink is likely going to be the little cow's face there. As you can see in the legs and the horn of that, I'm getting the vibe that that is. Is that I? It might be I. It's number six. Six is I, yeah. So it's all like basically the face going down the legs, the horns a bit round the side there. So really, really good. We've got some blacks and blues and really vibrant pink there. Um, really, really lovely colours in this one. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, man. That's gorgeous. 
Oh, I like that. And this one here, that's nice. It's always nice when you get introduced to new colours as well. This dark blue one's really gorgeous. Really, really lovely indeed. So we'll put that over to one side. And then, um, oh, we've done it. Um, <laughs> I thought I had something else. <laughs> but no, there is only two paintings in this one. But let me know what's your favourite. Is it going to be the winter one? Or is it going to be this lovely cow? I think most of the vote is going to be this cow. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm in, I am mean, I really do humbly thank Timu because it's thanks to Timu that I've been introduced to more sizes. I was so wrapped up into getting 30 to 40s all the time through Amazon. And what I like about Timu is we, we get a, that little bit extra long time while it's waiting on between ordering and getting it on the plane, going through customs. You get that little bit more extra time to work on your uh, current project. Um, but yeah, I'm so addicted to buying paintings, um, I, I can't stop. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, please remember to like, share, subscribe, tap the bell if you want to be notified of all the videos I do. Um, and there'll be plenty more Timu unboxings coming up soon. We're going to try and get more from the range and craft body because I don't really want to do it Timu all the time. Um, it would be nice to branch out a bit more and bring in some of the companies that I used to shop with as well. Um, but yeah, be prepared that the number one part, uh, the number one shop is always going to be Timu because I love it. I just think it's such a wonderful company. But anyway, that's that. Take care, have a lovely day, and I'll catch you later. Bye.